हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर भारती पटनायक फ्रॉम सीताबाई आर्ट्स कॉमर्स एंड साइंस कॉलेज अकोला टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन डिटेल द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ स्पीच साउंड्स दैट इज कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड्स व्हिच इज प्रिस्क्राइब्ड इन द सिलेबस ऑफ एम ए पार्ट टू सेमेस्टर टू ऑफ द पेपर लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड फोनेटिक्स the speech sounds are broadly divided into two categories consonants and vowels all the sounds during the production of which we hear friction are known as consonant sounds all sounds during the production of which the air escapes through the mouth freely and we do not hear friction are vowel sounds for example if we say the english word shoe we realize that this word is made up of two sounds one represented by the letter sh that is sh and the other represented by the letter oe that is u when we produce the sound represented by the letters sh slowly we realize that during the production of this sound the air escapes through the mouth with friction on the other hand when we produce the sound represented by the letter u the air escapes through the mouth freely and we do not hear any friction the sound that is represented by the letter sh in the word shoe is a consonant sound and the sound represented by the letter u in the shu is a vowel sound the three term label consonants are described using a three term label the three term label refers to number 1 the state of the glottis the place of articulation and the manner of articulation the state of glottis speech sounds can be classified as voiceless or voiced depending upon whether the vocal cords are wide apart and the glottis is wide open that is voiceless sounds or the vocal cords are kept loosely together and they vibrate this is voiced sounds the place of articulation of the various articulators at least two are required for the production of any speech sound some articulators move during the production of speech sounds they are active and therefore they are termed as active articulators other articulators remain passive and the active articulators move in the direction of these these are termed as passive articulators therefore the place of articulation means the two articulators involved in the production of a consonant sound consonants can be described according to their places of articulation for example bilabial sounds in this sounds the two lips are the articulators the initial sounds in the english words pile bile mile are bilabial sounds the sounds represented by the devanagari letters p f b bh and m are bilabial sounds labio dental sounds in this so, uh, labio dental sounds the active articulator is the lower lip and the passive articulators are the upper front teeth for example the initial sounds in the english words fine and wine that is f and w are labio dental sounds dental the tip of the tongue is the active
digestive articulator and the upper front teeth are the passive articulators. For example, the initial sounds in the English words thin and then that is th and the. Alveolar sounds. In this sounds, the tip or the blade of the tongue is the active articulator and the teeth ridge is the passive articulator. The initial sounds in tin, din, near, sin, zip are alveolar sounds. Post alveolar. The tip of the tongue is the active articulator and the part of the roof of the mouth that lies immediately behind the teeth ridge is the passive articulator. The sound represented by the letter R in try and dry. Paleto alveolar. In this type of sound, the tip of the tongue or the tip and blade are active articulators and the teeth ridge is a passive articulator. The initial sounds in sheep, cheap and jeep are paleto alveolar sounds. Retroflex. The curled back tip of the tongue is the active articulator and the hinder part of the teeth ridge is a passive articulator. The sounds represented by t, th, d, dh are retroflex sounds. Palatal. The front of the tongue is the active articulator and the hard palate is a passive articulator. For example, the initial sound in word yes. Velar sounds. The back of the tongue is the active articulator and the soft palate is a passive articulator. The final sounds in the English words back, bag and bang are velar sounds. Euler. The rear part of the back of the tongue is the active articulator and the yola is a passive articulator. The initial sound in the Urdu word meaning pen is an example of a yolar sound. And the last one is glottal sounds. Glottal sounds are produced at the glottis and the two vocal cords are the articulators. The initial sound in the English word hat is an example of a glottal sound. Now the manner of articulation or the stricture involved. The term stricture refers to the way in which the passage of air is restricted by the various organs of speech. The different types of strictures are number one the name of the stricture is complete closure and sudden release. Now what happens in this stricture? The active and passive articulators come into firm contact with each other and therefore they prevent the lung air from escaping through the mouth. Secondly, the soft palate is raised thereby shutting off the nasal passage of air. Thus, the lung air is blocked in the mouth. When the oral closure is released, the air escapes with a small explosive noise. Sounds produced with a stricture of complete closure and sudden release are called plosives. For example, the initial sounds in the English words peel, win, pin, bin, tin, kin are plosives. The sounds represented by the Devanagari symbols k, kh, 
ग घ ट ठ ड त थ द ध प फ ब एंड भ आर प्लोसिव्स द सेकेंड स्ट्रिक्चर इज कंप्लीट क्लोजर एंड स्लो रिलीज द एक्टिव एंड पैसिव आर्टिकुलेटर्स कम क्लोज टू ईच अदर सो दैट द ओरल पैसेज इज क्लोज ऑन दी अदर हैंड द सॉफ्ट पैलेट इज रेज सो दैट द नेजल पैसेज ऑफ लंग सो दैट द नेजल पैसेज ऑफ लंग एयर इज क्लोज द ओरल पैसेज इज रिमूवड स्लोली but instead of explosive noise a friction is heard sounds that are produced with a stricture of complete closure and slow release are called affricates for example the initial sounds in the english words chin jam are affricates the next stricture is complete oral closure as the name suggests the active and passive articulators are are in firm contact with each other thereby stopping the oral passage of air completely but here the soft palate is lowered so that the nasal passage of air is opened the lung air escapes through the nostrils freely and sounds that are articulated with the stricture of complete oral closure are called nasals for example the final sounds in the english words sum that is m san that is n and sang are nasal sounds intermittent closure in intermittent closure the soft palate is raised thereby shutting off the nasal passage of air the active articulator strikes against the passive articulator several times as a result the air escapes between the active and passive articulators intermittently such a stricture is called intermittent closure and the sounds are called trills or rolls the letter r in english words red and ran are the examples of intermittent closure for some consonants the active articulator strikes against the passive articulator just once such consonants are called flaps or taps for example the letter r in very is pronounced as a flap or tap by some english people close approximation in this type of structure the active articulator is brought close to the passive articulator therefore there is a very narrow gap between them the soft palate is raised therefore the nasal passage of air is completely closed the lung air then escapes through the narrow gap between the active and passive articulators producing audible friction sounds that are produced with the stricture of close approximation are called fricatives the english the sorry the initial sounds in the english words five sip zip ship are fricatives partial closure the active and passive articulators are in firm contact with each other on the other hand the soft palate is raised therefore the lung air cannot pass through the nose if the sides of the tongue are lowered so that there is a gap between the sides of the tongue the air the air will escape along the sides of the tongue 
without any friction. Sounds that are produced with a stricture of stricture that is partial closure are called laterals. For example, the sound L in love. And the last stricture is open approximation. In open approximation, the soft palate is raised. Therefore, the nasal passage of air is completely closed. If the active articulator is brought close to the passive articulator so that the gap between them is wide, the air will escape through this gap without any friction. Sounds that are produced with a stricture of open approximation are called approximants. For example, the initial sounds in the English words yes and when, wet. So friends, this completes with the detailed description of classification of consonant sounds. Thank you.